Pretty cool, huh? It's my own Marwin official dishcloth. And uh, Omar sent it to me about a month ago. My wife's first reaction was, that's too nice to use. So whenever I go to dry my hands, I avoid this one. But uh, it hangs in a place of prominence on my oven over there. And uh, Onmar is just super inspiring, isn't she? I mean, her work is so bright and colorful. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to doing the homework for her class today. Drawing everyday objects has always been something I've had a lot of fun doing. Now, I spend a lot of time drawing teacups. Um, any of you who know my work might know that I have done a lot of drawings of teacups. And so today I want to draw something different. I'm not going to draw teacups. I'm going to draw tomatoes in various forms. So I'm going to draw, I have a tin can of diced tomatoes that I'm going to draw from. Um, I have here some uh, bruschetta topping that I'm going to use. And I have a can of tomato paste. And I have an English can of Heinz spaghetti bolognese that my sister brought me from England, which I'll probably never eat, but it's a cute little can, so I'm gonna have that too. So that's what I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw these four tomato-based products, and I'm gonna study their labels, and I'm gonna try and do my version of uh, the ex kind of exploratory that Onmar did. And I'm gonna be drawing on my iPad, because that's what I do these days, but um, hopefully you can follow along with me and you can draw, I'm sure, the same kind of thing. I'll keep it simple, just draw basically with a pen, maybe a little bit of color. I'm not gonna go nuts. I like the kind of flat graphic exploratory though that Onmar did and that kind of approach of making it illustrational, I would say, illust illustrative, illustration-like, something like that. Um, just keeping it simple and graphic because these labels are fun, they have a lot of details in them, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. All right, here we go. So I'm starting on my iPad with just a gray pen. I'm just drawing the basic shape of each of the cans. First the big fat can, and uh, just trying to get the bottom of the top to be equally round. Now this next bottle is a little square, the bruschetta, and then the cans of uh, paste and bolognese are pretty simple. Just want to draw a little bit of detail to sort of indicate what the top of them looks like, that there's these sort of concentric rings, and that's the idea. The label of the tomatoes is pretty simple, two colors, so I'm just going to try and capture that color of the red and the blue. I'm going to ignore all the lettering and the details of the design, just keep it simple. This bruschetta sauce is a bit more complex, right? So I want to make sure that I'm not getting too bogged down in the details. I'm just going to block out the basic colors of the tomato and the lid. I'm going to start there. Now I'm going to really zero in on the label, but not drive myself nuts with it. I've set up a basic palette, too. I'm not going into every color in the rainbow. I'm trying to keep some consistency so that these different uh, objects look connected. Uh, I'm drawing and lettering. You know, I'm not sure if I'm going too far with this, but this is what I've done. So I'm drawing and lettering the, the words, the little bits of cloves of garlic, the basil leaves, and a fair amount of detail, but yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm worried that I'm going too far. All right, let's move on to the tomato paste. Put the gray of the label. I'm again blocking out the main shapes in colors, and now I'm starting to add a bit more detail. Um, there's that lady at the top. I just don't want to draw her too too correctly, too detailed. I want to keep it some style to it. Again, simply with the lettering. Uh, I just want to get the sense that again, there's a lot of color, but I'm trying to minimize it. Just red, green, a little bit of yellow, and if I have to, some beige. Um, and just keeping that simple. Now moving on to the can of bolognese. It's pretty straightforward. It's, it's a golden background. There's red in the middle. There's this sort of white shape around the edge of the frame. There's the spaghetti inside. And then it says Heinz. Bolognese. Pretty straightforward. Um, again, using the same colors from the same palette. Now I'm just going to go back in. I started to doubt myself. I thought my line quality looks too pencil like is that wrong should I do something that's much sharper and cleaner so I went back in and redrew it 
And then I decided, no, that wasn't correct. And then I made some other decisions. Okay, I'm going to put it into a surface, and I'm going to draw a frame around it. Then I'm going to add some shadows, and then I'm going to add this lettering at the bottom. I continued to noodle at it. And, uh, you know, again, this was a real battle in my head as to whether I was doing the right thing. There you have it. That was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I beat myself up a fair amount of time while I was doing that because I kept saying, well, it doesn't look like own Mars. Hers is much more graphic. You're just doing a representational observational drawing. Where's your imagination? Yada, 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 you. The fact is, imagination is always part of even observational drawings because you've got to make decisions. You've got to abstract things a lot of times, right? You're not making a photograph, so you're going to have to make decisions and imagine like, what are my color palettes going to be? Sometimes that's not exactly what you're seeing. In the case of my drawing, I want to unify all these colors, so I had to take some liberties. Similarly, I had to make decisions about how am I going to represent the metal? How am I going to abstract the um, labels? All those kinds of things are functions of my imagination, you know? So my composition, my decision to put a title, to put shadows, all these kinds of things are taking what I'm seeing and making it abstract. So um, I didn't perhaps go to the extent that Onmar does. I'd like to try that though. I'd like to really study her, I'm just looking at this dishcloth, that's why I keep looking off camera, because I just look at the way that she just uses block colors, but then she'll also have variations, and there's often a lot of texture in her colors too. It's not just flat. So that's all interesting, all stuff to think about, and um, stuff that I want to keep trying, because I really, I really like her work, and I feel like there are a lot of little little things in it that I would like to do. It was also interesting doing this on the iPad, again, trying, stretching, moving into new media, new art supplies, trying out different things. Um, you know, there's constraints and there's also opportunities in working with all kinds of tools. So that was fun too. So I really had a great time. I can't wait to see what you guys have done. Are you drawing teacups? Are you drawing, I don't know, all kinds of things, right? I mean, the kitchen is full of interesting things to draw. And this has kind of inspired me because I've been thinking about drawing cans for quite a while. I've been thinking like, I want to go back in to my kitchen cupboards and pull some stuff out. So this is a great opportunity to do that. And it's got me thinking, I want to try some more. So I hope you do too. Have a good day. Can't wait to see what you've done. Bye.